So what I like to do is I'm going to take each one step by step so that you guys don't get confused. So let's look at cos 720 minus x. Now if I have to draw a quick cast diagram, that 720 minus x is not on the cast diagram. So we will minus 360. So I'm going to minus 360 from that. And that's going to give us cos of 360 minus x, which is here. And so I can say cos x. And then cos is positive in that quadrant. And so I can leave it as a positive. OK, so the first one is done. Students often get confused with these squares. My advice is leave the squares alone and just focus on the sin 180 plus x. All right, now 180 plus x is on our diagram, so we can just say sin x, but then that is negative. But now that sin had a square, but you can put the square like that instead. And so if we put the square like that, a negative multiplied by a negative is a positive. And so this is just going to give us sin squared x. All right, here's a co-function. Now, if you know your co-functions off by heart, you would know that sin of 90 plus x is going to give you cos x. If you didn't, you could just use the compound angle formulas and you would also get cos x. Okay, so I'm just going to write that down. And then cos of x plus 180, I'm going to do that over here. Now x plus 180 is the same as 180 plus x because when you plus, order doesn't matter. And so that is on our diagram, so we can say that that's equal to cos x. But because it's in the quadrant where cos is negative, we must put a little negative over there. And so now we can go fill everything in. So at the top, we have cos 720 minus x, which we said became cos x. Then this part became sin squared x. Then there's a plus. Then the sin 90 plus x, that became cos. And then the cos of x plus 180 became a negative. So I must put a multiply sign and then a negative cos x. And so at the top, you can't really do anything. At the bottom, it's just going to become sin squared x. And then a positive multiplied by a negative is a negative, And that's going to become cos squared x. And so that would be the final answer. You can't really do anything. Some of you might be saying, Kevin, doesn't this become 1? You guys are close, but remember, for it to be 1, it has to be sin squared x plus cos squared x. Okay? And so that would be our final answer.